Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back to Cloud Punk. Alright, so we're going to continue off from where we were last time. We're going to see Rubric at the Roadhouse. Uh, it's down this yonder. So we'll go do that. We'll meet you there. And uh, yeah, all that good stuff, man. We'll try to keep on hammering these quests away and trying to trying to get and discover all the cool stuff in this game. Because there's a lot of stuff I still haven't picked up, you know. Like every time I stop to an area, obviously I stop and I pick up all the good stuff and, and all the goodies and hopefully all the cards and everything, right? And then uh, after that, like, uh, you know, we just try to find where they all belong to. Like, uh, there's like a lot of stuff we have, like... Look at all the stuff we got. Like, this is the stuff I bought for the, the the car, so we won't count that. So we got these cooling fluids. No idea what they're used for. These electronics we fix stuff with for them. The plastic, uh, plastic parts. No idea what we're picking these things up for. Used batteries. Same thing. Never used them yet. Memory chips. We've given one away. Uh, sold one. Well, kind of. Uh, memory augments. The broken augments. We haven't done anything with these yet. And all these books... We haven't seen anybody that's collecting the books. Uh, the video games, yes. Uh, Rare video game disc. We'd have to go find that other girl. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. Do we have a compact disc? Yeah, we got a flute. We got a hand. A human hand. Like, what the heck are we doing with a human hand? Punch cards. We know where those go. And then a piece of paper. So, you know, like, we got all kinds of different things. It's just... Oh, wrong vehicle, man. Wrong vehicle. We just don't know where they all go yet, so let's go see Rubric. Uh, how do you get out of this place? Right down. Oh, look at that. It's a tunnel. That's cool. You can go in one of these yet. Funky. Fuel warning. Fuel warning. Oh. We need to stop at a gas station. I can keep going a bit longer, but if we don't top up soon, our main repulsors will go offline. Okay, no problem. I'll go fuel up uh, right up around the corner here. There's a uh, fuel right here. See? And we'll, we'll fuel up here. And you gotta pull it nice and calm. Uh, there we go. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay. You were doing it. You were bringing me in for it. There, now watch the money go down. Fuel is expensive here. That's crazy. I shouldn't be able to have to pay this is like having a truck. Man, that's like having a truck. My Jeep don't even cost me that much amount of money. That's crazy. Uh, it's like fifty bucks. Fifty bucks to fill up my Jeep. That costs like a hundred and something. Ah! Ah! Yes, I drive my Jeep better than I drive this. Alright. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of these highways. I think they're a little, a little too fast. I don't drive on them very much. I mostly drive out on the uh, out on the uh, up in the air. I'm gonna stop here and talk to Douglas, the postman. Let's see what he has Hi. to say. So, what is your star sign, please? <laughs> I don't know. Why do you ask? I am instigating a mating ritual. Tell me, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you hurtled to Earth from orbit? Do you mean when I fell from heaven? Affirmative. I require an answer, humanoid. I'm not really interested. <laughs> Sorry. I will find the required combination of vocalizations to entice you for romantic relations. I'm no expert on romance, but even I know that's not how it works. Incorrect. Please listen carefully to the following statement. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I would require the vowel U and the vowel I to be contiguous. Do you want some advice? Affirmative. <laughs> if you want to talk to someone you like, try asking their name. And introduce yourself, too. I am Douglas. Name, please. Nice to meet you, Douglas. I am Rania. Maybe try to ask questions in a less aggressive way. Rania? Please touch my carbon fiber endo frame. <laughs> Why would I do that, Douglas? Because it's made of boyfriend material. Mm. Okay, that is a little funny. But I'm afraid you're not what I'm looking for, Douglas. And I'm not even looking anyway. That's Very well. Funny. I shall continue to be alone. Uh, that was pretty funny. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, maybe you can give something to Douglas and 
<laughs> because it didn't go away. He's still there, so you could continuously talk to him, I guess. I don't know what's going on with that, but that's weird. But we'll we'll make our way up here to the roadhouse. What are Patrick Swayze's in there? <laughs> Oh, who's this guy? Hey, Seven. Let me pass. No, I ain't going nowhere. Your boss wants to talk to me. I'm not supposed to be late. You're making me late. If you're late, you should have got here earlier. <laughs> if I'm late, I'm telling him why. I'm just jopping with your lady. Japping? Fooling with you. Rubric don't want to see you. Just wants you to have this. He left his package for you. Where is it supposed to go? Uh huh? You don't know? No. no. Well, I guess he's gonna tell you. Better hurry, Robert. Gonna be late. All right, so we got a package. Good, Rabbit. Follow the nav point, please. I didn't say I wanted to accept a call, Canis. I couldn't stop him. He's taken over the calm. You want to know what it is, don't you? You've been turning it over in your mind. What did Lomo have me deliver down there in the hollows? You can't stop thinking about it. To be honest, I've had bigger things to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh, don't let me deflate your ego, though. You were saying? You've got a lot to learn about living in Avalis. It takes a lifetime to understand this city. A lifetime? Well, then the earlier I start, the longer it will take. You know what Pallid 3.0 does to people? What it could do to you? It's a virus, right? I heard there was an outbreak. It's much more than a virus. Pallid 1.0 affected computers, but Pallid 2.0 affects neural augments. Nice. It makes autonomic bodily functions become conscious choices. It does not stop the individual's heart beating, their lungs breathing, but it stops that from happening without command. When an individual is afflicted with Pallid 2.0, they must make their heart beat. They must be conscious of every breath. They cannot... cannot lose focus for a second, or they will die. That's crazy. You made this virus? No. It is an ugly thing, an ugly way to die. Slow and cruel, but I created the economy around it. <laughs> the subscription plans, the digital inoculation, the cure, insurance policies to protect the families of those it afflicts. Awesome. Sounds like a protection racket. Which economies are any different? You're full of shit. What is this package? Pallid 2.0. The last pure source code, stored on Quanta Drive. It can't be decrypted by anything in the Vallis below the spires. And you want me to do what? Spread it? Core. There's a simple, unmarked delivery chute in the stacks. It will take the sample to a secure bunker where rare and unique viruses are stored in case they are needed again. Needed for what? To make new viruses? To fight them. But also hmm. to manage the economy. Interesting. If my associates were to infect a few thousand people with a low level neural affliction, every individual would pay for a security upgrade. That upgrade would become a panacea. Everyone <laughs> would install it, and the next far more dangerous virus would hit them as a harmless ripple instead of a devastating tidal wave, leaving them untouched. Their lives would be saved. Hmm. You know, this city has its share of monsters. But I think you are the worst. And don't forget it. I've given you the final nav point. Oh. Do your job, little rabbit. He is gone. We are alone again. Camus, is there a waste disposal near? One that leads all the way to the sea. Yes, I have a nav point. Can we really do that? I don't believe this is a cure at all. This is Rubric's retirement plan, and he'll use it again. 
What if sending it to disposal means someone else gets it? Or maybe it will spread. The package says it is dangerous. It's worth it. <sighs> hmm. Besides, I don't think Rubric wants anyone else to know he gave us this. If he goes after us, we can rat him out to Lomo. I don't believe for one second that Lomo would be forgiving. Let's see. Hmm. Do we do this for Rubik or don't we? Which hmm. seems the right way to go. <laughs> well, they're both through here anyways, so I have to go here anyways. Well, let's decide along the way. Hey, driver 14 FC, you can't be bumping that hovel around the city like that. You're gonna have to hit a repair station. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out of the standard Cloudpunk Hava damage penalty fine. Oh, really? We've, uh, actually taken that much damage? I have to go check that out. <laughs> Here's a repair thing right here, right? Yeah. So much gonna cost me to repair this. <clears throat> I've had like 300 was my worst so far. Let's see if I can beat 300. 360. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh yeah, neon tracers. You got that speed booster still. Plasteel bumpers. This plasteel bumper. Hey, nice. That's what you use those for. It's an upgrade for our vehicle. All right, let's do that. Yeah, we'll see. Let's do it. Cost me 400 bucks, but maybe we'll be a, a little bit more beefier of a of a ride, right? Check that out. We'll find out. All right, so I think we're gonna go. I don't know what to do with this. There you go. Hey, control. Hey, 14 FC. We did a Let's check on your vehicle performance, and it's clean as a spire sky. Look after your Hava, and she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. Thanks, Control. Oh, man, I don't know what to do here. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do we dump it? Do we... do we store it? Do we... Because who knows, maybe dumping it is exactly what he really wants you to do, but, you know... I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it's hard to... Excuse me. It's hard to decide. Uh, Alright, so uh, on my way to decide on what to do with the package, um, we found this guy here, Comrade Bob. Bop. Sorry. <laughs> All systems of power must justify themselves. Throw the establishment back on the shelves. Excuse me? <laughs> Hustle pass like you don't hear me. Step over the homeless like you can't even see me. Are you talking singing at me? Another cog in the machine. Say you're a worker, but your hands all clean. Hey, I need to work for a living. Hmm. They exploit you every day and you're thinking for it. One hand pats you on the back, the other is in your pocket. Maybe people would take your social protest more seriously if you weren't singing all the time. And they reprogram me, mess with my head. Now if I don't sing what I think I end up dead. Seriously? They make you sing? Nice. Go up second, handle the truth so they make me rhyme. And a kism in the probes has had its time. <laughs> that kind of impacts on your credibility. Ha, and that's the plan, but even if I had to sing every word, I keep fighting the man. Ha. Maybe <laughs> if you didn't insult me, I'd try to help you. Don't want your help, just want you to look around. To see the people lying on the ground? I see them, I know it's tough here. Maybe you ain't so bad, maybe Conrad Bop is still just mad. For real. Now you can help if you want to. There's a guy who needs your guidance up on 3rd Avenue. <laughs> guidance? He knew. He don't know the streets. Tell him come see me in an hour and I'll get him something to eat. Why do you need me to talk to him? He don't like me. Don't like my singing. He said my flow. Had his ears ring. <laughs> I see his point. I know I can't sing, can't make good music, but 
we can all make a better world if we make the choice to choose it. <laughs> oh boy, wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh man, alright, alright. Okay, so um I think I'm gonna go deliver the package to um go go deliver Ruber's package. That way I can get more missions with them later on and stuff like that. Uh yeah. So here this is what we're doing. I can't believe we're helping that asshole. Yeah. We are become death. We are destroyer of worlds. True. A quote, Camus? Where did that come from? I have been reading quotes and sayings and expressions. Good That's for you. good, but I don't think that one fits our situation. It is for rubric. Let's get out of here, Camus. Yeah, that was my goal. I want to do more, more missions, more missions. That gave me an achievement. I said, "Good rabbit." Oh, Huxley. The dame answered the call. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Huxley, you can't keep asking for help. I have to do my job. You're on your own. I hope the dame knew I wouldn't be calling if I had any other choice. Damn it, Camus, what should I do? I should leave him, right? I am not so sure. But you hate him. He is one of us now. A friend. Really? All right. Huxley, where are you? I sent the dame a nav point. I'm on my way. Uh, horrible. All right, so uh, here we go. I recognize you. You got in trouble for fraud. You saw me on the holovids? Something like that. I was sent to help you. Ha! By that singing socialist toaster? No thanks. <laughs> I think he's an anarchist. He's scum. They all are here. I can't wait to get home. Home? To your apartment? Did you get another job? People like me don't get fired. I go back Monday. This is my punishment. <laughs> for grand scale fraud? A weekend on the street? It might be easy for someone like you to endure this place, but I have family in the spire. I'm not like these people. This is hell. I can't believe Bob was going to help you. He knows I get home soon. I told him I don't care about his cause. Even after you've seen what they go through here? Leave me alone. Wow. Well, he says you can get food if you go and see him in an hour. Fine. Message received. Nice. Okay, well, you know, he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go to that other place there. We're gonna go pick up Huxley. Oh God. Oh, you got even more punch cards for Evelyn. We have eight left to find, so that's always a good thing. Uh, I haven't seen any more recently, so. Anyways, we'll go pick up Huxley. Can I ask a question? Sure. Of course. Do you think if I am a car for long enough, I will stop being a dog? Well, I guess that depends. Do you feel like a car now? No. I am <laughs> a dog. Well, whatever you feel like, that's what you are. But other people don't look at me and think, that is a cute dog. Well, let's be honest, you were never a cute dog. But now I'm not any kind of dog. Not to other people. They just see me as a hova. Who cares what other people think? Look what happens when I try to bark. That's strange. I guess there's going to be some weirdness when we put a dog automata in a hava automata slot. Am I still a dog if I don't bark? Well, I'm your best friend, and I think of you as a dog. Friend? If I'm a dog, am I not a pet? Look, Camus, what do you want to be? I feel like a dog. <laughs> I was happier when I had the old body. What's a dog with no bark? Stop second-guessing yourself. You're being maudlin. Are you still a musician if you don't play music? Hey, now you're being mean. Oh, I didn't mean to. What's really bothering you? You didn't ask me if I wanted to be a dog or a hova. Well, actually, you're right, Camus. Do you want to be either? Hmm. You don't even need to be my friend if you don't want to be. I feel sad. 
<laughs> Look, a lot of stuff is fucked up in this world, Camus. Oh. I won't make you be my friend, or force you to stay with me. You can go free. I just want to let you know something first. I am listening. I like you. You're a good friend. As a dog, car, fire hydrant, vacuum cleaner, whatever. I like you too. I want to be a dog and your friend. All right then, let's get back to work. The sooner we make some more deliveries, the sooner I can save money to get you a proper frame. Was the last job good? The Andersons? I don't know, Camus. I've been thinking about automata and androids a lot. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Do you think it's fair? I am not really programmed to think about fairness. Oh. I can see why they would make you that way. People are programmed too, but not by programmers. By the world around them. That's very wise, Camus. I am not programmed to be wise. Well, you've gone beyond your programming then. Is that a compliment? Maybe the highest compliment. Then I think you have gone beyond your programming too. Awesome. Dogs and automata. Lots of achievements are locked up today there. Oh, um, can be up this way. We just gotta find a parking. Where's the parking? Uh, uh, yeah, we'll just ping pong off the walls here. I think the parking is over here. Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> oh my lord. But I've made some nice upgrades to, I guess, my vehicle and my home so far, so still having $2,000 in the bank, I guess it's still pretty good, considering, you know, everything that I've done so far. Alright, everybody, we're coming up on Huxley. Here's Huxley. This had better be good, Huxley. Wait, what happened to your arm? It was a good question. How do I tell the Dane that when Raguan's goons gave me the elbow, I lost an arm? We well, <laughs> had to get moving. Nice. Okay, well, what about. Okay, that's the guy I from gave before. Them a nav point that would get us out of danger. They ripped your arm off? You have to go to Corpsec, Huxley. Raggy one, Corpsec, Peter. They were all tangled up in some complex web I couldn't untangle. But I knew one thing. If I tugged on the wrong thread, the spiders were gonna come for their lunch. What does that mean? I am sorry I said to pick him up. He is still <laughs> very annoying. Quiet for now, Chemist. Mm. Huxley, you think Corpsec is involved in Pashta's disappearance? It was all connected. But I couldn't see how. Someone was lying. Raguan said I should talk to Peter, but then his gorillas ripped off my arm and threw me out of a sixth floor window. Nice. So just call Peter and ask him what's really going on. Now the client wouldn't answer my calls. I could feel the girl slip through my fingers, and if I couldn't pull her back, she'd slip through the cracks too. That's why you mm. called me, right? You want me to take you to Peter? I wanted to tell the Dane that she was right, that it, that it would be easy. She thought I was asking for a quick journey across town, but I was asking her for much more. I was asking her to go out on a limb for me. I was... Huxley, just this one time, please skip to the point. No kidding. Cloud Punk. That was the name of the company the dame worked for. They had some serious resources. Vehicles. Alright, let me, uh, check. Uh-huh. with society both high and low and an up-to-date address list of almost everyone living in Nivalis. Oh no. Huxley, that could get me fired. <laughs> if we are just asking, maybe we won't get in trouble. Camus, you didn't want us to help Huxley in the first place. I have been thinking more about things. About automata and what we do. And? We need to help each other. Help each other be better. Like saving a little girl. Everything is so complicated in the city. You do something and it is a bit good, but a bit bad too. But saving the little girl is only good. I, I can't explain it very well. No, it's fine. I get it. It's nice to help people when you can, but I'm responsible for both of us, Camus. If I get fired, I can't even keep you in the Hava. Never mind find you a new body. I understand. 
I still want to help find Pashta. I didn't want to impose on... Quiet, both of you. I have to make a call. Control, this is driver 14... This is Rania. I need to ask for a favor. I read your driver. What do you need? I need an address. I don't think I'm understanding you. We don't have a new job for you yet. Um, there's no packages right now, but if you give it half an hour... This isn't really about work. I need a personal favor. I just <laughs> need you to give me someone's address. You, uh, know this someone? Not really. Look, I know it's a big ask. You, you ain't joking. Uh, you're asking me to share private info. I could, uh, get deleted. Deleted? Fired. I could get fired. Uh, you want to tell me what this is all about? A girl is missing. The less details you know, the better, right? I just need this one favor, Control. It's important to me. There we go. I don't uh, want to hear any more about this, 14FC. I'm signing off. Control, wait. Her name is Pashta. She's alone, probably scared, taken from her family. This has got nothing to do with us, Rania. Mm -hmm. I could have been that little girl. That's why I have to help. Growing up, the debt corpse could have taken me away from my mom. But every time, she somehow came up with the money. It was close. Don't you get it? Yep. Look, Rania. This isn't a normal favor. What if it was your little girl? You don't want to go there. I can't. Look, it's one address. Don't say anything. Don't tell anyone. Peter Unthrink. That's the name. Just hang up, then send us the address. I'll never ask for anything like this again. Control out. I am nervous. That was tense. Very yeah, tense. I wasn't sure he would... We got a nav point. The dame really came through. Yeah. Woohoo! Alright, we're going to um, do this area. I'm going to pick up all the goodies and stuff. And then. Uh... I am receiving an order to stop by Corpsec. Oh. Are you sure it's Corpsec? I don't see anyone. The signal is from close by, but I don't know where exactly. It seems like Corpsec, but there is no incident number. They normally send an incident number. This is Corpsec. You're speaking to Agent Rio. We have reason to believe you are harboring a known criminal, rogue android Huxley. Rio again? Why are you following us? Is this personal? You are currently breaking the law. Corpsec requires you to turn in your passenger and surrender yourself to... Camus, you said the signal is close by. I don't think this Rio is on official business. Is he affecting any of your systems? No. If we drive, we could get out of his range. You have 60 seconds to comply. <laughs> if he's not really Corpsec, I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. Well, probably. We probably will. Alright, so. Oh. Uh, we have to get out of here. Crap. Uh. Rio signal. We have to get away from this signal? Well, we're pretty far. Like, really, 19... I'd never make it there in time. So, let's just do what we're doing here. Escape from Rio So We're pretty far. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> Anyways. Excuse me, I can't help but notice you have an artificial hand. Maybe you can help me find someone. Yeah? Who are you looking for? Someone who lost a hand. I found this in the trash. Oh. <laughs> well, I think you got the wrong guy, yes? I got this beauty last week. Pure titanium. Don't want no flesh. I'm going the other way. Did you go to the limb clinic? How would I find someone who had lost a hand? They're not supposed to just throw these away, right? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Don't care about flesh, to be honest, lady. Damn it. You really want to help? Maybe let me see. I know the body mod squad around this way. Maybe I can get it back to them. Some mothers like to keep their old flesh. Here it is. Well, damn, this is mine. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, it has my ring on it. They said they was going to donate it to someone. Can I have it back? Sure. 
Oh, no, I don't want to touch that. Can you just take the ring off and give it to me? I guess. <laughs> Ew, here you go. Thanks, lady. You can keep the hand. Oh, Great. Nice. Have some limbs, too, as a reward like. I really love this ring. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I have to take his... You know what? <laughs> Fine. Arrest us. We'll talk to CorpSec officers about everything we know, including your boss. But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. Quiet, Chemis. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. I don't think this is really CorpSec. Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest uh. us or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I no won't way. warn you again. He has disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. Aha. It was a bluff. I knew it. Oh, let's talk to our engineer Camus, friend. where is this nav uh. point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe Peter lives in an apartment above it? Work in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the hottest flavors. Caramel and anchovy with cinnamon protein flakes. Blech. For the next screening of some piece of trash anti-android prop films. Cyborgs ate my babies three. <laughs> Is that a real movie? Yes. I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. Nice. We are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on comm. It's just a text message. He says that CorpSec networks are down all over the city. There's a CorpSec security point between here and the Alexa Theater. But if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure CorpSec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Agent Rio? Yeah. Could be. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point? In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Oh security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. What? Why? I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Uh -huh. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The Lots of people didn't know our history. Truth is, that neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots <laughs> hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to speak like... Actually, just try to be completely silent once we're there. Can you Sounds do like a plan. I'm impressed. <clears throat> Nice. This is our buddy, the engineer. See if he's found anything else wrong. Engineer, are you ever going to tell me your name? Sure. Call me a painter. Mm -hmm. You've given up then? You know, for a while there, I really thought I was onto something. I followed a lead down to the vents. I didn't expect to find all these people. What was ah, the he lead? met them. An old master control program. I found a data cable that stretched out of the city. It led there. What did it lead to? Nothing. I'd hoped to find some old rogue mainframe spitting out garbage to the main infrastructure subsystems. Maybe it would be as simple as turning it off, then on again. It wasn't that simple? <laughs> Nothing ever is. Of course not. What will you do now? The city needs people who are trying to make things better. I know. And I, I might go back to work. I just... I can't see another disaster and feel that weight on my shoulders. Could I have stopped it? Did I cause it? <laughs> it's, it's too much. Mm -hmm. I understand. See you around, painter. See you around, driver. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, he quit. Ah, oh, no. That was an achievement. Said I quit. I hope he doesn't quit. Jeez, no, you don't quit. Who does that? Alright, so there's one more little thing in here. I gotta go get. And then uh, back to the car. Alright, so we're down here where we need to go meet Buddy. Uh, we'll talk to this gang member too. Hey, Block 4 0, are you still fighting the system? Nice. Hey, it's Cowpunk! Damn right we are! We're fucking this shit up. 
How exactly <laughs> are you fucking this shit up? We're making a motherfucking playground, dog. You know, I don't think I've ever heard any other gangs that talk quite like you do. What's the matter, Cloud Punk? <laughs> Our speech too fresh for you? Um, no. Did you watch a lot of old movies, maybe? It ain't about what we say we're gonna do. It's about what we do and how we do it. That's right. I guess so. I can't believe you're making a playground. The That's awesome. The don't want the kids playing no more. We ain't gonna let them take our swings. Good job. You got a problem with that cloud punk? No way. With you making a playground for kids? No. I think it's um, kind of amazing. It is. You hear that, Razor? She thinks I'm amazing. You're all right, cloud punk. You ever get yourself a small human, you bring them here to play on the swings. Nice. Awesome. Look how beautiful a job they're doing. Huh? Look at that. That's what we need. More people like that. More robots like that. That's beautiful. Alright, so go collect some stuff here. Alright, so we got like a security checkpoint going on here. Guess we're gonna have to talk to Corpse Egg. Good evening, ma'am. We've got a problem with our system right now. I'm gonna have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. We can't contact HQ right now. No problem. Is your android friend alright? Does he speak? Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He doesn't have any recent issues with speech or anything. He's been behaving very normally. So, problems with your system, huh? That must be a bummer. That's the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security posts. Hmm. I swear, if we had unions, we'd be on strike. We've got us working <laughs> hours so long, half the agents are like zombies. That's horrible. So, we clear to go ahead, or...? Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts. Turns out, there ain't no evidence that it's the androids at all. That's crazy. They have failed neural augments sparking paranoia. They should be locking up the humans. That's horrible. What's causing all this? Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a virus, and it's infected us all. The humans, the androids, the programs controlling sanitation, traffic, everything. Could be. You believe that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste, and I'm gonna be a rich corpse CEO before I'm 30, so... Can we go? Yes. What's that? Oh, sure, uh, whatever. Uh, get going. And don't let your android buddy out of your sight. It's not safe for his kind in this zone. Nice. That was easy. Good stuff, good stuff. So we managed to get through. That's a good thing, that's a good thing. Let's go pick up some more more stuff here. Let's hopefully we just need three more cards for everyone. Oh, two more cards for everyone. We might be able to pick that up here before we actually uh, we actually get back. We should be able to remember more of her stuff there, what's going on with her. That'd be pretty awesome. What's this? Oh, there's a flyer. Corpse egg flyer. That's not another one, so we'll have to go to another area. Let's bring this to the theater. Theater's right here. We can get that on the way out, so we'll do this and then, uh, yeah. Alright, the theater looks pretty dead here. Looks pretty garbage. Hi, do you work here? We're looking for a guy called... The hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley! So, this was the client. I pictured a hard-working man in a cheap suit. But instead, I was looking at a greasy-looking... Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming into this neighborhood and speaking to me like that, Huxley. Hmm. Look, we just want to help you find your daughter. Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way out of my league. She ain't really my daughter. <laughs> Who paid you to say she was? If I tell you that, you're as dead as I am. I've been driving all over the city trying to find this girl. I'm not giving up on this now. Just tell me where I can find her, okay? Just forget her. She's probably fine. The way his voice shook, we all knew he was lying. Uh -huh. It's the memory chip in her head they need. It's not about the girl. No one cares about the girl. Huxley does. Just let him do his job. Rio. That's all I can say. Talk to Rio. Wait, the uh -huh. corpse sec agent? Uh -huh. He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great. That means he won't know we talked. Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just get out of here, will you already? We should go, Huxley. This is getting dangerous. It would get more dangerous, but I had to stick around. It's not safe here, Huxley. It was too late for me. The security checkpoints would be up again. 
I'd be caught if I went through. Besides, I had some leads I wanted to follow here. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Well, call me if you need me again, Huxley. Oh, I'll don't do around. that. Oh, why did you say that? That's horrible. All right, everybody. So that's going to be a wrap up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.